So the materials that we're going to need today are two different colors of cotton DK yarn. For me, I am using Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK in Slate and Spearmint. And then we will also need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tape measure, and then a darning needle, which is not pictured here. All right, so before we get into actually making the top, I of course have some measurements for you guys. So the first measurement that you're going to want to take is measurement A. And this is gonna be from the middle of your collarbone all the way down to wherever you want your top to end. So for me, that's gonna be right above my belly button and that will be 13 inches long. Then you also want to take measurement B, which is around where you want your top to end. So again, for me, that's going to be right above my belly button. And that for me was 26 inches. And what you're going to want to do after you take measurement B is to subtract 5 inches from that. And that is going to be your foundation half double crochet um, measurement. Okay. And I did not that, write that down here, but I will insert it over here for you guys to see. So those are the two measurements that we need right now, and I will come back later once we start our decreasing to show you what other measurements we are going to need. So to start off today, we are first going to make a slip knot. All right, once you got that, pop your hook on there and pull tight. Now, like I had just mentioned, we are going to take our measurement B and subtract five inches from it to get our foundation half double crochet measurement. So for me, that is gonna be 21 inches and it will be 88 foundation half double crochets. So let me guys show you how to do a foundation half double crochet really quick. So the first thing that we are gonna to wanna to do is chain up three. So one, two, and three. And what we're gonna wanna do now is yarn over, insert into both the top loop and this back loop right here. All right, and as you can see, it kind of makes a little V. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through just those first loops, and now we have three loops on our hook. So now what you wanna do is yarn over, pull through the first loop only, and then with three loops left on your hook, you wanna yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so that is gonna be your first foundation half double crochet. So now to make the second one, we will yarn over, and we're going to insert into this bottom stitch right here. So I will insert right here, and you wanna make sure you pick up both the front and the back loop. So again, it's kind of making a V. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through both those two loops right there. And then we have three loops left on our hook. So I will yarn over, pull through just that first loop. And now with three loops left on our hook again, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, and that's how we're doing our foundation half double crochets. So I'll do it one more time for you guys. Again, yarn over. There's that stitch, that space that we want to go into. Oops, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, I picked up one loop. I want to make sure that I pick up both that top and back loop. There we go. Okay, so we've got the top and back loop. So now we can yarn over, pull through those two. We will yarn over, pull through one. And then you yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so I am going to continue doing this foundation half double crochet until I reach my measurement of 21 inches. And I need to mention that the measurement that you are making, you want your foundation half double crochet to stretch to the measurement. So I'm going to continue making these until my row one of foundation half double crochets stretches to 21 inches, okay? So once I am done with that, and once you are done with yours, come on back and I'll show you guys how to do row two. All right, so we are almost at the very end of this foundation half double crochet row. I just have one more stitch to go. And the very last stitch is actually where we're going to change color, so make sure that you do not finish the very last stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, again, insert into the bottom, the bottom part of your stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through just that first loop. 
and then you have three loops left on your hook. So now this is where we are going to change color. So what I'm going to do is drop that first color yarn and pick up my second color. And then I'm just going to grab it with my hook and pull it through all three loops. So once we've pulled it through all three of these loops, we have this tail end as well as our first color yarn. So what I'm just going to do is chain up one and then flip our work. All right, and this chain one is not going to count as a stitch. This is just gonna be our turning chain. So for every single stitch for row two, we're just making one half double crochet all the way down. And that means we are going to start in the very first stitch right here, because again, this does not count as a stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over and make sure that you are bringing up both this tail end and your first color, color yarn so that you are weaving them in as we go. So again, we will insert into the very first stitch. Okay, we've got those two tail ends. Yarn over, pull through. And then with three loops on your hook, you want to yarn over and pull through all three. All right, so that's our first half double crochet. So I'll do this again in the very next stitch. Yarn over, make sure we're weaving in those ends. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. So we are just making one half double crochet in each stitch all the way down for row two while also weaving in our ends. So I'm going to finish this row and once I get to the very end, I'll come on back and show you what we're doing for row three. So really quick before we get into row three, we need to know one more measurement. And the measurements that we are going to need to know are C and D. So for measurement C, we need to know what the underbust to wherever you want your top to end, we need to know the length in between those two. And that is going to be your measurement C. So for me, that was 5.5 inches. Now what you want to do is subtract 1.5 inches from your measurement C to get measurement D. So for me, that's going to be 5.5 inches minus 1.5 inches to get 4 inches. And this is the measurement we need. So you need measurement D for the rest of this portion. So measurement D is going to be the portion of our top that has no increases or decreases. So we're just going to be alternating between these two colors with just normal half double crochets all the way down the row until we reach measurement D. So I'm going to show you guys how to change color once more. So I have one more stitch to go into before the end of row two. So I'm going to yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and now I have three loops on my hook. So I'm going to drop my working yarn and pick up my other yarn, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. All right, so once you have that, you want to chain up one and flip your work. Now again, this chain one does not count as a stitch. This is just our turning chain. So we are going to make one half double crochet in that very first stitch right here. Sorry for holding it this way. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into this very first stitch, and I'm kind of weaving this piece in. I'm sorry, the other color in, as you can see. Okay, so still weaving that in. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three. Whoops, all three. All right, so we're just gonna make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way down this row as well. And make sure that you are also weaving in your opposite color. All right, so what we're gonna do is just continue to alternate between rows two and three until you reach your measurement D. So I'm going to continue doing this until I reach four inches. And once I have that measurement, I will come on back and show you guys how to start decreasing. All right, so I just finished doing my first portion and now we are at measurement D. So if I grab my tape measure, I am just at four inches, so that is perfect. So now we are going to start decreasing and bringing our top in. So what we need to know is, of course, a few more measurements. All right. So now what we are going to do is find our measurement E. 
and measurement E is going to be measurement D. All right, so four inches, and we are subtracting four inches from our measurement A, okay? So whatever you have for measurement A, what you want to do is subtract your measurement D from it. So for me, that is 13 minus four inches to get nine inches or whatever your measurement E is. And we are using measurement E to determine how many decreasing rows we need in total. So as you can see, measurement E is gonna be from the bottom of wherever you want your top to end all the way until we are done decreasing right before we create this keyhole portion. So when I say measurement E, that is also going to include these four inches right here as well, okay? So now it is time to start decreasing, and decreasing is actually going to be pretty easy. So what we're going to do now is chain up one, and then flip our work. And what we're going to do is make a decreasing half double crochet in the first two stitches right here. Again, this chain one does not count as a stitch, so we're working in the very, very first stitch. So what I'm going to do is yarn over, insert into the very first stitch, again, still weaving in that other color. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through, and now we have three loops on our hook. So we are not gonna pull through all of three of these. Instead, we are going to yarn over again, insert into that following stitch right there, yarn over, pull through, and now we have a total of five loops on our hook. So once we have this, we can yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, and that is a decreasing half double crochet. So what we are going to do now is make one half double crochet in each of these stitches all the way until we get to the last two stitches at the very end. So once we get to this point right here, I will come on back and show you guys how to do our other decrease. All right, so I am now at the very end of this row and we still have to make one more half double crochet decrease in these last two stitches. So what we're gonna do is yarn over, insert into the following stitch, yarn over, pull through, now we have three loops on our hook, so we'll yarn over, insert into that very last stitch, yarn over, pull through, and now we have five loops on our hook. But instead of pulling through with the yarn that we are working with, what we're going to do is drop our yarn and pick up our opposite color because it's time to change color. So then with the other color, we will yarn over and pull through all five. All right, so then we will chain up one, flip our work, and do the exact same thing with this light green. And so all we are doing for the decreasing rows is one half double crochet decrease on the beginning and on the end of the row. So I will show you guys this again. I will yarn over, insert into the very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, insert into the very next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and we have five loops on our hook, so we'll yarn over, pull through all five. And then we're just gonna make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way down until we get to our last two stitches right over here. All right, so I'm at the end of the row, so this means we are going to make our half double crochet decrease in the last two stitches. Now, it may be a little bit difficult if you are a beginner to kind of see that last stitch, but it is right here. It's difficult kind of just because it's a decrease stitch, but it is right there. So I'm just gonna yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and now we're gonna yarn over, insert into that very last stitch right here, Yarn over, pull through, maybe? Yarn over, pull through, and now we have five loops on our hook. So we, oops, actually, I almost did it. We are changing color, which means we need to drop our working yarn, pick up the one that we aren't using, and we are going to yarn over and pull through all five. There we go. So then I'll chain up one, we will flip our work, and again, it's just going to continue. We are going to repeat this decreasing row all the way until we reach whatever our measurement E is. And for me, that's gonna be nine inches. 
So once this piece measures a total of nine inches, I will stop decreasing and then I will come on back and show you what it's looking like so far. Okay, so I have just completed my decreasing rows right here. And as you can see, it just reaches nine inches, which is perfect because that is my measurement E. So this is where I'm going to stop the decreases for now. And we are going to move on to the keyhole portion. And when I measure nine inches, that is also including the portion right here that has no decreases. All right, so before we move into the keyhole portion, we have some measurements, of course. So what you wanna do is count your stitches on the last row of decrease, which is this top one right here, and then you wanna divide that by two. So for me, that's gonna be 54 stitches divided by two, which is 27 stitches. Then you're going to subtract two from this previous stitch count right here, so for me, that is 27 stitches minus two, which gives me 25 stitches. And this is gonna be our final stitch count. And the reason that we are doing this is because we're making two separate um, sections up at the top here. And we wanna leave just a little bit of a gap, four stitches to be exact, in the very middle. All right, so now that we know that final stitch count, we can get started on this first section over here, which is gonna be our left-hand section. So what I'm gonna do first is chain up one, and then we're gonna flip our work. All right, and for this first row, we are gonna be doing a half double crochet decrease at the beginning and at the end where we stop as well. All right, so we're gonna be counting over 25 stitches in total, but this first row right here is actually going to only have 23 stitches because of the decrease again at the beginning and the end. So I'll yarn over, insert into that very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and make our first decreasing stitch. Then I'm going to count over so that's gonna be three. So this would be like one, two, three, four, five. And we're just making normal half double crochets until we reach the last two stitches of our final stitch count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to continue until I get to those last two stitches and I will come on back and show you how to finish this row off. So I am now at my last two stitches down here, which will be 24 and 25. So I'm gonna make a half double crochet decrease in these last two stitches. All right, and now it is time to switch color. So again, we are not finishing that last stitch. We will yarn over and pull through all with the opposite color. Then I'm going to chain up one and do the same thing going back down. So a decrease at the beginning and the end with normal half double crochets all throughout the middle. Okay. So again, there's that decrease. Okay, so we are at the last two stitches right here. So we will do the half double crochet decrease in the last two. Okay, and then we are going to switch color again. So we drop our working yarn, pick up our other yarn, and then pull through all five. So what we're gonna do is two more rows of this decrease on both the beginning and the end with the half double crochets all normal in the middle. So you'll have a total of four rows of this little keyhole portion that are decreasing on both the outside and the inside. So once I am done with all four of the rows, I will come on back and show you what we are doing next. Okay, so I have just finished doing the four rows of the decreases on both the outside and the inside. Now for the next three rows, we are gonna be decreasing only on the outside and on the inside, it is going to be just the same. It's just gonna go up straight. So I will demonstrate that now. Okay, I've already switched color. So I am going to chain up one, then flip my work, maybe. 
<laughs> and in the first two stitches, we'll do our half double crochet decrease. And then we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way down, okay? So no decrease at the very end. Okay, so as you can see, we're at the last two stitches right here. And instead of doing a decrease, we are just going to do one half double crochet in this next stitch and then one half double crochet in that very last stitch. Okay, and then we are going to switch our colors and we will chain up one and flip our work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is because we are on the inside right now, we are not decreasing in the very beginning, but we are going to make one half double crochet in that very first stitch. Okay, and we will continue to make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way until we reach the last two stitches right here where we will do a decrease. All right, we're at the last two stitches right here and in these last two stitches, we are going to do a half double crochet decrease. All right, and then we'll switch back, chain up one, and we will flip our work and then we will make a half double crochet decrease in the first two stitches and then continue with a half double crochet in each stitch all the way down so once i am back at the end over here i will come on back and show you guys what we are doing next so i have just completed those three rows where we don't decrease on the inside but rather only decrease on the outside so as you can see it's kind of starting to make a little slope like this so now for the next five rows and for the rest i mean that's the very end portion of this section we are going to be making two half double crochets only on the inside and then still a half double crochet decrease on the outside so i will show you what that looks like so we'll pick up our yarn. All right, already changed color. So we will chain up one and then flip our work. And then we're gonna be making two half double crochets in this very first stitch right here. Okay, so that's gonna be our increase. So we'll do one and then two, right in that very same stitch. All right, and then we are going to make regular half double crochets all the way until the very last two stitches. And once we reach those last two stitches, we are going to be making our decrease on the outside. So I'm going to continue making these normal stitches and once I get back to those last two stitches, I'll come on back. All right, last two stitches right here. So we are going to do our decrease. So we'll yarn over, insert, pull through, and then yarn over, insert into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then of course we're going to change color. We'll chain up one, flip our work, and then again we're doing a decrease on the very beginning because this is the outside of our top. So we're doing a half double crochet decrease in the first two stitches. All right, and I am making one half double crochet in each stitch all the way until our very last stitch. And when we get to our very last stitch, I'm going to put two half double crochets in there for our increase. All right, so these are our last two stitches right here. So make sure that you're not lumping them together as one stitch. This is our last stitch. So we are making two half double crochets in this very last stitch. So that's one right in there again. And that is two. All right, and then we will change our color. And then we would chain one and flip our work yet again. And all we are gonna do is continue to repeat this row right here and this right here. So this would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are repeating rows eight and nine until we get to 12 rows in total, okay? So this is gonna be five rows of this repeating right here. 
where there are two half double crochets on the inside and then a decrease on the outside. So once I am completely done with this section, I will come on back and show you how to do the other side. All right, so once you get to the last two stitches on the outside, we are going to make our decrease. All right, and we are not switching color anymore because we are finally done with this section. So I am just going to yarn over and pull through with that same light green. And then we are going to chain up one, grab our scissors, leave a bit of a tail, cut, and then pull right through and pull tight. Of course, double knot if you need extra security. Okay, so that is going to be the first side of our keyhole portion. And please excuse this. I'm gonna have to cut it off later. <laughs> so now what I am going it to do, here we'll flip it over, I'll show you the finished piece. But now what we are going to do is attach our same color yarn right here on this corner stitch over here to do the opposite section. So I'm going to go into the very last stitch right here. I will grab this same color yarn. Ah, maybe. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to cut it off. Make sure to cut off this yarn too. Leave a little bit of a tail. <laughs> okay. So we are going to grab that, pull it through, and then make a, oops, make a knot. And I would double knot it if I were you, just for extra security. All right, so now I'm going to flip it so that we are working from right to left. And we will insert our hook into that very same stitch again. I will yarn over, pull through, chain up one, and then we are going to do the exact same thing we did on this side, on this side, okay? So, you know, I would start off with the decrease right here again in the very same stitch. Okay, decrease. Then we would work all the way over to the very end. So for me, that would be 25 total stitches right here or 23 total stitches in this first row because of the decrease on the beginning and end. Now, once I get back to the end over here, I will actually come on back. So I show you how we put the other light green color back on and start working with that as well. All right, so I am at the 23rd stitch right here. So my 24th and 25th, I'm going to do the decrease. Okay, so we'll yarn over, insert, one, two. And now we need to switch colors. So we will pick up our light green or whatever other color you are using. And then just like we did at the very, very beginning of this top, I'll grab my yarn like so and pull through. All right, so again, we have a little tiny tail and we are now working with this light green. So I will chain up one, flip my work, grab that other piece of yarn too, okay? Goodness. Okay, we've got all the yarn now, finally. So as you can see, we've got both of the tail end and this other yarn up here so that we can weave them in. So again, we will do our decrease at the very beginning. Then normal half double crochets all the way until we hit those last two stitches and then another decrease. Okay, so I am just going to finish up this whole other section. I just wanted to show you guys how I put the light green back on. So finish up your other section as well. And once you are done with this whole portion, pretty much this whole top, I will come on back and show you guys how we are going to create a border all the way around the top. All right, so you should now be done with both sides of your keyhole portion keyhole portion um but now the only thing we have left to do with this body is to make a half double crochet border all the way around and i am choosing to use this darker green right here just because both of the i guess ends are in the lighter color so just for contrast sake that's what i'm gonna do but of course use whatever you like so what i'm gonna do is we'll flip this around for you and I'm going to insert my hook into the very corner right here, the right hand corner of the bottom of my top. 
I will grab the yarn that I want to use for the border, pull it through, and then make a double knot to secure. I'm making one knot here just in case I have to take it all apart again. All right, perfect. So now what I am going to do is insert my hook back into the very same stitch, and then I will yarn over, pull through, and then chain up one. So what we are going to do first for this half double crochet border is make three half double crochets in this very corner stitch. So we are really just going to be making half double crochets all the way around, and in each corner we're going to be making three half double crochets. Alright, so we're going to yarn over, insert into the same stitch. That's one. That's two. And that is three. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is make one half double crochet in each of our foundation half double crochet stitches all the way along the bottom border. So I'm going to continue to do this. And once I get back to the opposite corner over here, I will come on back and we'll show you how to do the sides. All right, I just got back to the very end of this bottom edge. So what I am going to do now, hold on, let's get that last one, is we are going to put three half double crochets in the corner right here. So we'll do one, two, and three. All right, so now we are on to the sides right here. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of half double crochets going on and no actual stitches to insert our hook in. So what we are going to do is instead make two half double crochets in each of our half double crochet spaces all the way along the side. So to do this, I will yarn over and we'll just kind of, there's no exact science to it. We're just going to kind of find space in between. Um, the half double crochet spaces. So I'll just kind of go into that space right there. Oh, I am sorry. Hit the camera. All right, we'll try it again. Okay, so I'll like go into this space right here. So that will be one. And then I'll go into this space right here and that'll be two. And we're just going to keep going in with two half double crochets in every half double crochet space all the way until we get to this corner right here. So once I have done that, I will come on back and show you what we're doing up here. Okay, so I have just gotten all the way back to the top right here. And as you can see, I have two tail ends to weave in as well. So what we are going to do is create three half double crochets in this very corner stitch right here. And as you can see, I have already done one. So we will go two and then three. Okay, and in this one, it's actually, we are doing the three half double crochets in the half double crochet space right here, because this is gonna be our very first stitch. So I will get a yarn over, and we're just gonna make one half double crochet in each of these stitches on the very top little portion right here. Okay, and we are at the very last stitch, which again, this is also a corner space, uh, I'm sorry, a corner. So I'm gonna place three half double crochets in that corner right there. So that's one, two, and then, whoops, and then three. Okay, so we've got three stitches in that corner right there. So now we are coming on to the kind of keyhole portion of it. So what we're gonna do is again, create two half double crochets in each half double crochet space all the way down until we get to the very last half double crochet space, okay? So I'm going to meet you guys back when I am right here and we just have one half double crochet space to go.
All right, so I have just gotten down to the very last half double crochet space right here. And what we're gonna do in the last one is actually just make one half double crochet and I'm gonna make it right here. And then I'm going to skip to this stitch right here, okay? So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into that stitch. And that's just gonna kind of bring the, I guess, keyhole portion. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's a keyhole. It's just going to kind of round it out a little bit just to give it a better look. So then we're gonna place one half double crochet in each of these stitches along the bottom edge right here. Okay, so again, we are going to put one half double crochet right here. And then we are going to skip up to right here, this little space right here, and do one half double crochet. Okay, and as you can see, that's gonna kind of start rounding out that edge right there. So we are going to continue to do two half double crochets in each half double crochet space all the way up until we reach the corner. When we reach the corner, we'll do three half double crochets in the corner and then one half double crochet all along the top. Then we get to the corner again, another three half double crochet, and then two half double crochets in each half double crochet space all the way along the edge until we reach the beginning. So I'm going to go finish this side and once we get back down to the beginning, I'll come back and show you how to finish this off. Okay, so I'm all the way at the end. So now what I'm gonna do is slip stitch into that very first stitch that we made right there. So I'll insert, we'll yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on our hook. All right, and then I'm gonna chain one, grab my scissors, oops. Grab my scissors, leave a bit of a tail to weave in later, cut, and then pull that right through and then pull tight. Again, double knot for extra security. Okay, and that is all we are doing for this body piece. We are pretty much done. The only thing we have left to do is make our straps, our little ties. So to do that, we're just making chains. And if you want something that is a little more sturdy, definitely go back on the chains with a single crochet because sometimes the chains are just they're just not supportive enough for um, larger cup sizes. So we'll just make a slip knot, put it on our hook right there, and then we will just start chaining up. So I am making both a strap for this little keyhole neck portion right here, as well as for the back. So for my neck strap, I chained up about 90 to 100, I believe. If the number is different, then I will put it somewhere on the screen right here. And then for my back strap, I chained up 300. So again, this will just depend on your size for how many or few chains that you need to make. So I'm gonna go get these chains made, and once I come back, I will show you guys how to weave it in and finish your top. Okay, so I've just completed both of my little straps and we are going to first work on weaving in the neck straps right here. So I have a slightly larger hook. This one's 5.5 millimeter, just so I can more easily um, weave in these straps. So what I'm gonna do first is insert my hook into the, the three half double crochets in the corner. I'm gonna insert it between the first and second one right there. So we're not going into the actual stitch, but rather in the space between the two stitches. I'll show you guys in one second. So then I'm just gonna yarn over, pull, not yarn over, I'm just gonna pull through my little strap right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip every two stitches, and then I'm gonna place my hook in between, so like in between the second and third stitch right here, but not in the actual stitch space, but rather in the space in between. And then I'm going to take my strap, pull it from front to back. We're gonna be alternating these from going in front and then back. Okay, so now again, we would skip two stitches over. So one, two, 
and I'm gonna place my hook in between the two stitches, again, from back to front so that we are not <clears throat> bringing the strap over top of um, the stitches right here. And then I'm weaving that in. And I'm just gonna continue doing this all the way to this side over here. So I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys so you can see. And once I've got the corner right here and I've just pulled this all through, then I'm going to reach my other, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna grab my other corner over here and do the same thing that I did on the previous one. So I'll just grab that, pull it through. I'm just gonna kind of tighten these up a little bit. Okay, so I lied. Um, I'm not showing you guys how to weave in this back. I really just found where the decreases started and then just did a crisscross weave. Um, here, let me bring you guys up closer. As you can see, I just did them in between these stitches. So in between the spaces right here, I would just weave in. Weave in the strap. Okay, guys, <laughs> enough of that. Also, really quick, if this is not gonna do it for you, if you need a little bit more support, um, please start weaving your strap in just a little bit above where the decreasing starts. Yeah, just wanted to point that out there. But anyways, guys, this is it. This is our finished halter top. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please be sure to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. I make weekly crochet content over here on YouTube as well as on my blog, which I will link down below as always. Follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook for more daily crochet content. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.